everybody. Uh, we are back. <laughs> uh, once again, having taken a day off in the interim. Uh, we took Saturday off to do some adulting, uh, a lot of cleaning, but uh, we are back and uh, we are playing this game. We're gonna play this game. Uh, when, when we left off, we had just found this shrine um, after doing the uh, Vomido quest, the Divine Beast quest thing. So, uh, we have the shrine. We haven't been in yet. Um, this is the Warbler's Nest. Uh, what's the name of this one? Lada Luda Vulada. The Vulada Shrine. Um, so, yeah, I haven't been here yet. Uh, before we get started started, let's uh, do our amiibo thing, shall we? We're going to do... Ugh, there's a the microphone. We're going to do the Sheik to see if we get the Sheik mask. Hopefully, we will finally get this freaking mask. <laughs> I mean, it's not even, it's just a point of pride at this point. It's just like, I need, I want to get it so I can stop trying to get it. Mask. Ah, you. Okay. <laughs> fine. That's fine. Uh, and, and we get to do, uh, Revali's one. Since we, we beat Vomido and, uh, we now have Revali's Gale so we can use Revali's, uh, Amiibo. First time. Hopefully we'll get his helmet for the first time. We do get some bomb arrows. Dang, that's nice. That's nice. And a bunch of fruit, fruits and nuts. <laughs> Delicious fruits and nuts. Ah, uh, falcon bow. We have falcon bow. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's just ditch one of these. No. Drop. Boom. Take the Falcon Bow in steel. Take that in steel. It's better. Um, so I've been playing Elden Ring all week. <laughs> I've been getting better. Uh, I'm by no means a pro, but I am getting to the point where I don't hate life and don't want to constantly throw my controller across the room. I'm at a point where I'm, I'm, I'm beating things. I've beat many bosses now, not just... Uh, I think it was just the, 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 the Erd Tree Burial Guardian was the first one I beat? No, it was the Beast Man. It was the Beast Man in the Wolf Cave. I beat him first, and then I beat the Erd Tree Guardian, Burial Guardian. Um, that, that was a big, <laughs> that was a big moment. I was like, oh, I beat him. Oh my God, he was so hard. Um, but ha since then I have beaten the Tree Sentinel that's that son of a bitch. Um, no longer walking around like he owns that area. I own that area. <laughs> oh no, what's this? To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Vulata. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. The winding route. The wire is wound around the wheel. Winding route. Um seems weird. This is a weird one. I don't remember this one. What exactly it entails. Oh wait, I think I do. I think I do. I think this is just... Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna spoil anything. <laughs> this is, uh, you gotta be on your toes. Yeah, you gotta be on your toes. So you get that one. Ha! Ah, yeah. It drops you down there. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, no! Oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> and we were we plotted it out so well. Oh. oh I feel like a dingus. Alright, well. Okay. Let's land somewhere. Where we'll actually, you know, hit the ground. Thank you. Ugh. Yeah, they throw they throw you right into it. It's like, oh, I hit this crystal and it does something. It sure does. It just drops you. <laughs> it drops you right into it. Uh, Alright, so... Whoop! Oh, 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 okay. Blame light. Cool. Uh, actually... Uh, inventory's full, but you know what? We've got this right now. 
the 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 Thunderblade, which is about to break. So and I'm about to. Um, so let's drop that. And let's take the flame blade. Cool. So now we have a fully functioning flame blade. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everybody, cool out. Um. Oh, you can't use champion abilities in the shrine. In case that was not made clear previously. In case I did not mention that previously. They, they, does, they don't work. So I can't use Revali's Gale to gain an unfair advantage here. I'm just sort of on my own, so to speak. Um, here. I think we can continue to drift that way. Yeah, I hope. I hope. Or else we're gonna, gonna eat some more lava. Alright, let's try it. Yeah. Whew. This one is a, is a beast. Trixie beast. Trixie hobbit. Uh, oof. Okay. See, normally this would be fine, but I've been playing Elden Ring all week, so my, my brain is all locked up in those controls. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Alright, we did it. <laughs> this is the key, hopefully. Thank you. Thank God. All right, um, and then we, uh, <laughs> excuse me, and then we just take those back over. Oh, yeah. There we go. That shrine completed. Hey, have this free Sonic the Hedgehog commemorative ring. I'm never not gonna say it when I'm, it's. I mean, it's. He's clearly. Come on. <laughs> So we need, what, two more shrines, I think? Yes, two more shrines, and uh, something big happens. So, something big. Um, the, the fun thing, the fun thing happens. The thing in the game that you, you are teased on and then you obsess on and then eventually you finally do it and you're like, oh man, it's amazing. Um, it is kind of amazing, but we'll get there. We'll, we'll talk about it more when we get to it. Um, okay, so that shrine is done. We need to do two more shrines. Oh, okay, that was a shooting star. Sort of, because it didn't actually land. At least it didn't land anywhere I could see it. Huh. Or it landed in the water, which would suck. Um, so there is another shrine over here in this area, but it has to be daytime for it to happen. Uh, so, oh, there's Dinral. Hey, Dinral, what's up, buddy? This is going to town. All right, cool. So I'm gonna just go back here to Rito Village. And uh, sleep, I guess, <laughs> to pass the time. Um, there's not a whole lot else I can do. We've done 50 shrines. And I like to tell you that that's a significant amount. I I mean, fractionally, yes. Fractionally speaking, sure. Maybe a fifth of the, <laughs> a fifth of the total shrines in this game. Um, there's a lot of shrines in, in this game. Uh, as 
is what I'm getting at. Um, and I plan on doing all of them. Well, I mean, you know, whoa. Things could go poorly and we end up not doing that, but hey, the plan is to do them all. <clears throat> I am looking for the hotel as the wardrobe department. This is the general store department. This is the hotel. The inn, I think is what it's commonly referred to in these types of situations. <laughs> Only stuck, stuck goblins have a reason to be up this late, Traveler. This is Swallow's Roost, Rito Village's premier and only inn. A standard bed will run you 20 rupees. A Rito down bed will cost you 80 rupees. So that's like someone offering to let you sleep on a bed made of their hair. Rito down bed it is. How late would you like to sleep? Um, morning, I guess. All right, I will wake you. I will wake you come morning. Sweet dreams. Cool. <laughs> I want to sleep on a bed of hair. Like Tom Waits. And those are weird sound effects that Link is making. I don't know what is going on. Ooh, <laughs> extra stamina wheel, thank you. Good morning, did you sleep well on the Rito down bed? All right, take care. Yeah, I, I did, it was, um, it was fine. Okay, so, um, we're gonna get these shrines, but one of the first, th I, there's a couple things I wanna do before the main event. Quote unquote. Um, I need to. I need to go to Akala, the Akala area, and I need to. Um, what's the other thing? I think that's really it. I need to get to the Akala area. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that, that can wait till after. But it's gonna be before. I, I think we're gonna do the Gerudo. Um, missions next, but first we're gonna we're gonna go to Akala, uh, and before that, depending on how things pan out, um, we're gonna go to the Korok Forest. So let's see here. We need to go this way. Um, oh. Ah. Good morning. This is a different Rito, by the way. The other one was named Cecily or something. This is Bedoli. They must be twins, uh, I guess. <laughs> I heard the divine beast Vamado has been de appeased. It just sends my <coughs> excuse me. It just sends my heart soaring. I didn't even realize I had started singing this old song. Did you hear me singing it? Teach it to me. Huh? Huh? Well, that's embarrassing. <clears throat> The pride of the Rito, pillar in the sky. Its heart lights up when the sun is high. Like, oh. so high, man. Uh, there's more to the song, but I forget the rest of the words. You should ask my sister, La Laisa, if you want to know the rest. Okay, so she, she does have a sister, but it's not the Rito woman that runs the, <laughs> runs the inn. Even though they look alike. This must be Laisa. This is... It is. She's saying, Hi. there we go. All right, so they look alike, too. Maybe they are triplets. Maybe she's the sister that knows the lyrics. Who knows? Morning. Oh. So, Bedoli told you I would sing you the last half of the ancient Rito song. Her memory really is the worst. I can help you, but, here's, but there is a catch. <laughs> Recite the first half from memory, and I will teach you the second half. I'll give it a shot. Go ahead. The pride of the Rito. Correct. And after that? Pillar in the sky. Ah, right again. And then? Um, 
Its heart lights up. Well done. Now for the final line. When the sun is high. Aha! Uh -huh. You got every word right. Oh. Well, a promise is a promise. I'll teach you the last half of the song. The heart shines upon a path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. That's the second half of the ancient Rito song. Profound, isn't it? Not really. Okay, so uh, what it boils down to, the front, the, the thick and the skinny of it. Uh, don't ever, don't ever put it like that. All right, let's see. Let's use. Yeah. There's a Korok over there on that uh, pillar, but we'll look we'll at that later. Not something we need to concern ourselves with just this moment. Just this moment. We are way too high. <laughs> Probably could have gotten away with not using the raw you know. <gasps> However, we take care of this wolf. And this wolf. Got him. Got the wolves. And that is a low flying bird. And he is drunk. Drunk bird. The bird is drunk. Go home, bird. You're drunk. Bird up! Hello! Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, <laughs> basically what it boils down to is this is the, uh, this is the, the, the location the, the platform that will activate the shrine. Um, so we have to wait for the sun to pass behind there and cast a shadow so that the heart, that heart-like opening, is over this platform. And we then have to strike the platform with a fire weapon. And that will make the shrine appear. So, um, there are... There's some time to kill because it's still very early <laughs> in the day. So, um, we're gonna kill some time. In fact, you know what? We're gonna take this. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna go kill us a Hinox. Because there's a Hinox right over here. No. There's a Bacoblin camp there. The Hinox I think is over. Yeah, there he is. There he is. So, <laughs> this guy. Um, oh, there he is. That's what we need. So, we <clears throat> have the bow now, the, the Rivali's bow. Um, the one that I'm wearing. The great, the great eagle ball, um, which is pretty decent, pretty decent. Uh, it has pretty good damage output, um, and it has good, uh, good range. Too. So we're gonna take on this Hinox. Hydrox cookies. Ah, the best. <laughs> if I see Loopy, it's because I am. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. I had some insomnia issues. Uh, yeah, this guy's going. <laughs> I don't even have to hit him in the eyeball. Yeah. And he's dead. Yep. Great Eagle Bow is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty dang good. Ooh, roasted bird drumstick. Roasted bird thigh. Hinox tooths. Whole bird. Roasted whole bird. And, uh, ooh, broadsword. So that's actually a one-handed weapon, which I could really use. Um, let's drop a boomerang. As much as hate as I, as much as I hate to drop a boomerang, let's drop a giant boomerang. Um, I'll take that. All right, cool. Well, that killed thirty seconds of <laughs> the <Devarte. laughs> Uh, okay, so you can see the, the, the shadow moving across. We can actually follow it. Is that the right shadow? That's not the right shadow. 
that's the right shadow. Right there. So, um, we need a... Oh, perfect. Flame blade. That'll work. So I don't think we need to be standing on it. I just think we need to hit it. So, let's do this real quick. Oop. Save. Cool. Oops. Okay. Um, yeah, I think as soon as this, uh, this shadow reaches... Oh, hang on, up. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you can tell I've been playing uh, Elden Ring all week because uh, I just hit the uh, R1 and R2 to try and attack that thing, which isn't what you want to use in uh, Breath of the Wild. Unless you're using the bow, and then you want R2. Ay, ay, ay. I'm just glad that I don't have a third game to, 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 with controls to keep track of. I mean, uh, Tailspire is easy. It's its own animal. It's, it's just uses the keyboard and the mouse, which is a completely different kind of kind of setup. Is that really? Um, maybe. I think that's it. I mean, it's got it. Well, no, no, no. That's the nook. There's the sh that's the thing. Ah. Okay. Oh, there's the drunk bird. He's back. Bird, you're drunk. Go home. But yeah, I had insomnia last night, so I didn't I didn't sleep too well. Um so I stayed up playing Elden Ring to like five AM. Then I got like four hours of sleep. Ugh, I crashed hard after that. Luckily. I was my brain wouldn't turn off. So I just got to thinking about uh yeah, there it goes. So once it uh reaches the the center, we can just hit it, right? We'll do it. How about? Uh, okay. Uh, do it. Did I do it? That does. Okay. <laughs> I always overthink it and try to use a melee weapon, but it, it, the melee weapons never, never seem to do it. You just shoot it with a fire. Hand. I was panicking every time. I start with the melee weapon. I'm like, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> uh, okay, cool, cool. Did I, did I turn down the? Hold on. Let me check something. No, I didn't. Oh my god, that's been like blaring this whole time. Sorry. Apologies. My god. <laughs> I was just checking the levels of... Ugh. It was redlining. Jeez. Sorry about that. Ugh. It's not a setting that sticks. I have to change it every time. And I had to restart the capture card a couple times before I started today. So, apologies. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, I said it, I said it once, I said it, I changed, I reduced the, the volume on it, and then it crashed, and I had to restart it, and all my settings got erased, so, it's just the way it is. Oh well. I didn't even look to see what the <laughs> name of the shrine is. It's the Pookie Poogie. Kakapupu Peepeeshire. Drime. Uh, oh! <laughs> Sir, what kind of reaction was that? Um, okay, so this is the cannon one, and we're trying to hit the... the button over there. 
Sure. So we use the bombas. So let's get the bombas. Okay, that's not how we need to use the bombas. Let's try that again. This time, put it down. Nope. This time, put it down. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. Let's try it again. This time, just put it down. Set it on the floor. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so now that activates the things. Yes, thank you. Um, and I have to hit it again. Uh, well, everything is optimally prime. Oh, seriously? Seriously? Oh, and everything was perfect right there, but it was. Nah. And now. No! Yes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we did it, and we can get the thing, but there's a second one. Of course, there's a second one. That's optional. But if you do this one, you get what's, you get a treasure chest. Whatever's on the treasure chest. Um, we're doing it. Of course, we're doing it. I mean, and we can even uh, try and. Whoops. Oh, oh, that didn't work. Oof! Wow. Well. Maybe maybe we're over overdoing it with that. Maybe we can just just get the timing right, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's just timing. It's just getting the timing exactly perfect. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, worth it. Worth it. Whoops, whoa. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm at the point. As I said, I played a bunch of Elden Ring last night. I even played some today a little bit while waiting for jobs to come in at work. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm here. I have the, the email open in case something comes in. And, you know, it's if when something comes in, I'm mm, on it. But in the meantime, I'm just like, well, play some, <laughs> play some Elden Ring while I'm waiting. Um, I'm finally at the point where I'm leaving that first steps area with the, the Stormfront catacombs and the Church of uh, Church of Ella and the, the um, that first ruins with uh, with the guards and like that guy with the freaking lance who was a butthole. Um, I'm finally like venturing out more from that area. I, I spent the first 20 levels terrified of going any further. I was having trouble with with like just the guards, uh, the, uh, like the guards in the woods. I was like, oh my god, they're just they're gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm at the point where I now have confidence in the game and, and the controls to actually, you know, play the game, essentially. The way the way it was intended. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. And it's, uh, it's a... Whoa. Oh, he's dead. Well, a couple of those guys are dead. <laughs> oh, hey. Let's uh, switch this up. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Oh, hey. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. Oh, there it is. Got it. <laughs> Couldn't remember what button it was. Could not remember. 
See? It's, it's, it, skill is finite. Hey, Benji's playing the same thing. You go to hell. Oh, he's still up there. All right, well. Bang. Bang. Got him. Ooh, he's dead. Got him dead. Sweet. All right. Um. Yes, apparently skill is finite and you can only apply it. Oh, hello, sir. Okay. We have a contender here. Hello. And now you're on fire. It's a glitch whoa, in the Matrix, whoa, mate. Whoa, what was that? That was a glitch. That was a glitch. I'm glad we got that on. I got the. I'm glad we recorded that. I've never seen that before. He like Matrix passed me. <laughs> what the heck was that? Wow. Oh man. I'm trying to get a fight so I can float up to the thing. You know what? Let's just use a tree. Let's just climb a tree. That was weird. I've never seen that. Sweet. Free arrows. Well, not free. I worked for them. You know. Uh, <laughs> wow. All that packaging for two arrows and an apple. What are you, Amazon? <laughs> Get it? Because they, they have really weird packaging sometimes. Again, four hours sleep. Oh, boy. I'm going to sleep good tonight. That's for sure. Man, oh man. Man. Manos. Manos. Whoops. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh, let's go to... We're going to go to the Akala area. To get there... Uh, what is this? Oh, that's the Hyrule Field. Right. Okay, Akala area is up in here. Um... I guess we'll get there through a uh, Zoro domain. Uh, it's the e probably the easiest way to do it. Back to the Zoro domain. Sorry, microphone. My pop screen's in the way. Um. Oh, I saw Moon Knight, the first episode. Not bad. Interesting. It's it's interest. It's a interesting. Um, well, I'm, it's definitely not a new mechanic for storytelling, but it is interesting in the way they framed it. Uh, and that's all I'm gonna say because I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah. Um, but I liked it. <laughs> I'm buy a bunch of ice arrows. <clears throat> Yar. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I'm also going to buy some Swift Violet, because yeah. I'm going to need them soon. Mm. Yarp. Okay. So, um, let's get on our Zora stuff. And we are going to... Look at it. Oh my god, here it comes. Oh, it's starting. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. So, <clears throat> head over this way. Whoa. Aim for the lands. It's really not worth it to try and swim. 
as we've learned. Whoop. Um, oh, no. I keep forgetting that it doesn't cost stamina to swim with the waterfall. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Go. Boop. Stand in the back. Go to the next bit. Came up here before to get the Zora helmet, um, but now we need to be up here to access other areas of the game. <clears throat> so, um, oh, it's the moon. That looked so weird. <laughs> I was like, "What the hell?" All right, so we need to get. I think over here. I think there's a there's a shrine over here. Uh, or a tower? I don't remember where, where it is. But I know there's also a shrine somewhere over here. And, well, in any event, we're a lot, we'll, um, we'll take, we'll take care of things once we, once we come to that. Oh, there's the Lizalfos. Just hanging out. No, I, I am nothing, sir. You see nothing. Dead. Who's he calling? Oh, I was gonna say who's he calling anyway, but uh, somebody heard him. We saw the telltale sign of from around the uh, other side of the <laughs> this rock. Um, was it actually someone on this rock, or was it the guy over there? Uh, who knows? I'm not really sticking around to find out. Oh, okay, wait, I think that might be one of our pins. Is that, nope, nope, that's the... Oh, wait, no, that is a Kala Tower. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> um... Oh, there's a shrine. That's where we put a pin. And the other pin was in that tie. Yep, that's it. That was the other pin. Ooh, there's a Korok right there. I'm gonna get him real quick. And also a big hearty radish. Gotcha. Hooray. Cool. And we got this radish. Sweet. And we'll get this shrine. This is the easy one, I believe. What's down there? Oh, I know what's down there. Oh, I know what's down there. So we, we scouted this earlier when we were um, coming up the uh, those uh, weird islands off the coast. Uh, streams ago. A couple streams ago. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, we just spotted this shrine and that tower from, uh, from the water. And we're, so we're, we're operating off of information that we got from this playthrough, I'm trying not to, not to meta as much as, as much as I could, or maybe should in some, in some instances, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so we want an appel. There we go. Hold. And drop right there. Hooray! Yeah. Alright, 
cool, cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so, uh, let's do this shrine. Just knocking out shrines left and right. This first, this first segment. Uh, man. It's our third one. We're what, 40 minutes in? Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else interesting to, <laughs> to talk about. Uh, oh, we didn't have D&D this week. I was, I was really amped to play. Um, and I've been doing some uh, prep work. Ooh, test of strength. Uh, doing some prep work for the next leg of the adventure. Because they're almost done with this module. Um, I said, oh, minor. This is going to take no time. Um, I say module. It's not really a module. It's a it's an article adventure from Dungeon Magazine, um, from way back in the '90s, uh, that I found, and I was like, you know what? I want to run it. I actually, I I've I've had the magazine forever, and I've been I've you know I read it more than once. Like, oh, I really want to run this. So I was like, you know what? I want to just convert it and run it. Um, why not? Right, we're gonna use that and. This should be cake. I didn't say that, but I have to, my controls are all all over the place because I got freaking freaking Elden Ring. All right, so we have. Oh well, no, I don't. I don't want. I don't want. It. Whoops. Oh. Well, that's it. <laughs> what was I so worried about? Wow, that thing went down hard. Okay. Ooh, ancient bed legs. Um I mean, we have ancient battle axe plus and ancient battle axe plus plus already. This no 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 no. That would be a strict downgrade. Let's just stick with what we got. Um, and let's, uh, re-equip this. And our other stuff, while we're at it. At this point, it seems it, seems it was unnecessary to really get so <laughs> gussied up for that. Uh. Ooh, wow. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Don't feel like I earned it, but I'll take it. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin from the ashes of Hyrule a hero rises. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Named Roy. I named it Roy. Roy Orbison. Take good care of him. Ugh, <laughs> uh, no. I'm sorry. Hey, that's four. That's a that's a heart, baby. May the goddess smile upon you. Cool. So, um, I guess to make things nice and streamlined, we'll take a last count of the number of hearts we have. Just to double check. That's four, eight, twelve. It looks like twelve to me. Let's count again. Of red hearts. That's four, eight, twelve. <laughs> so, excuse me. So you know what that means, folks. It's time to go to Korok Forest. <clears throat> I feel proud of myself that I set I set that up earlier to find the shrine. Because <laughs> the plan was always to come to call it as soon as possible because there's some good stuff here. But the fact that I, I scouted it ahead earlier makes me makes me uh, proud of past me. <laughs> like, good job, me. You 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 thought ahead. I'm clearly I'm clearly so tired that I'm impressed by the the dumbest thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's spend our spend our. Uh, Cards here, 
or it's orbs. Um, I want a heart container. Yup. Do it. Give me the heart. And that, ladles and jelly spoons, is 13 hearts. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Do it. Do what I say. I'm the goddess. All right. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Huh. All right. Ooh. Magnificent plastic looking. <laughs> I have the power. Sword of Omens, give me sight beyond sight. Your master. No, snarf. No. You shall rest safely here. Oh, sorry. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? I don't know, go get some strange or something. I just lost my boyfriend. The Master Sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you. He's only an okay Deku Tree. When he returns, can you please relay this message? <laughs> Tell him I. No, uh. then. Words intended for him would sound much better. In the tones of your voice, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> he tried to stop a lawnmower blade with it. That's what happened. You've seen it, you can't unsee it. What Sing you sweet, just saw sweet. happened where you stand one hundred years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here, where she knew... Hey, Gabriel! How's it going? Watch. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the she stream. We just got the Master Sword. Trapped deep within the confines of so we are uh, castle. riding that high. <laughs> Her heart cascades <laughs> with faith that you will return. Getting some exposition from the Deku tree. Like the sun. How are you I this evening? Much to feel its warmth upon me. It's evening Once here. Again. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Got the master sword. Uh, sweet. Legendary sword that seals the darkness, its blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the calamity. Only a hero chosen by the sword itself may wield it. Hmm. Uh, oh, that blade has a name. It is the Master Sword. When used against Calamity Ganon or 
Calamity Jane, or those tainted by his malice, it will become suffused with holy light. At, at such times, the true power of the sword will manifest. But be warned, do not rely on too much on its power. If you wield it without need, its power will be, power will be exhausted, and it will no longer be of use to you. Should this happen, you must wait for the sword to recover. It would be rash to rely on this sword alone to defeat Ganon. I suggest you free the divine beasts before facing him. Oh, we got all our hearts back. I'm Brazilian, I don't speak... Oh, uh, well, um, I don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> I know a little bit of Spanish. <laughs> I, I don't I, I I don't know Portuguese um, as well. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. All right. Um, okay, so we got all these Koroks. Um, let's let's leave. Let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go here. Uh, I would like to get the tower, but there are other things we had to do in Akala. Other things we have to do in Akala first. Okay, and he's back. <clears throat> okay, so, um, hello. Oh, oh, chosen one. The hero. Oh, the hero called Link. I forget who's. I forgot his name. The monks. The time has come. You are now ready to test the limits of your courage. At the place where you re reunited with the Master Sword, the sacred Korok Forest. Go there and heed the great Deku Tree's words. Do so and a glorious trial will be bestowed upon you. All right, so that's the sword trials. Um, the sword trials are hella difficult. <laughs> Uh, there are ways to cheat it, um, or, or make it a little less difficult. Um, for instance, if you have temporary hearts, like the yellow, if you make a meal that gives you, or an elixir that gives you extra hearts, it's easier. Because <clears throat> you essentially, you start it with nothing. You have no weapons, no armor. You're in your underpants, and you have your Sheikah Slate. That's it. <laughs> um... And uh, the, you, it's basically a try, and it's room by room, and you, you get, uh, uh, I understand if you speak slow. Okay. <laughs> I, I will try not to uh, speak too fast. I do speak, f I tend to speak fast sometimes, uh, but I will try not to. <laughs> um, but here, we, we're at a... Uh, Another great fairy fountain. So this should be good. Ooh, Endura carrots. Yep. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, we will need those later. Okay. So. Uh, oh, there's a Korok right here. Let's do this first. That's a one. Two, three, four, and where's five? I always forget where five is. Five is here. There it is. Got it. Awesome. All right, great fairy. Let's talk to the great fairy. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. Sure. I am the great fairy Miha. This place was once a beautiful spring. Uh, where are you from? From Sao Paulo. Uh, I am in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, well, Evanston, 
which is just north of Chicago. Uh, but I grew up in Cle the Cleveland, Ohio area. So just a few states east. Uh, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 1,000 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need 1,000 rupees. Here you go. She snatched it. <laughs> like, Meh. Thank you. You are too kind. Oh, the power is overflowing. And there's Miha. She looks like all the other great fairies, only with slight changes. She's more purple. Hmm, <laughs> <clears throat> so you're the one who released me. I was expecting someone bigger, I guess. But a slim little lad like you will do just fine, yes. Thanks to you, my power has been returned to me. And I think you'll agree, a good deed deserves a good reward. I can enhance your clothing, but I require the necessary materials to do it. Oh. With the power available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. Enhance away! Okay, so... Uh, ooh, I'm gonna need five more zap shrooms and ten more Liz yellow Lizophilus tails to get those all the way up. Um, oh, I'm going to need five more Bokoblin Fangs, really? To get all of my Hylian stuff leveled up. Uh, oh, these I can do. Excellent, good, because I wear these all the time. <laughs> these are my favorites, so we are definitely going to level these up. See, they, she gets more inappropriate the higher the level of enhancement. <laughs> We're at level three. I understand. I would like to meet Chicago. Who knows? Maybe one day. I love Zelda so much and I was watching. Oh, awesome. Mm. Yes, I, I like Zelda. It's it's uh, the Zelda franchise is is great. This this one in particular, this this Breath of the Wild. Excellent. Best one. The best one. Oh. Huh. But yes, she they, the fairies get more inappropriate <laughs> as they level up your your clothing. Level three is the kiss. Level two, they just blow a kiss. Level one, they just do a boop and boop ya. Uh, level four, I'll leave, I'll let that I'll leave that as a surprise. <laughs> oh. It's nothing super gross. <laughs> Ocarina of Time. Oh, nice. I haven't played Ocarina or Majora's Mask. Um, or Skyward Sword. <laughs> Classic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I've played Twilight Princess and most of the other, like, big title ones. The big, the bigger, like, um, Link of the Past, um, 1 and 2. I've played those. Um, and this is, this is the one that I've played the most of. <laughs> Just because I, I like it so much. So our mm. stealth gear is completely enhanced. Uh, let's see what else we can enhance while we're here. Uh, ooh, that's going to take all of our ancient cores. Uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather not do that right now. <laughs> uh, we can wait on the other stuff. Um, wow. Yeah, we need a lot of, a lot of stuff. 
Nadra's horn shards for that one. Wow. We haven't even seen Nadra yet. <laughs> That's okay. Well. Well, well. Okay. Well, mm. oops. No. Uh, uh, so long for now, I suppose. Once you have some clothing you want to upgrade, come back any time. See you later. And gone! Alright, cool. Alright, so that was the Great Fairy, Miha. I finished all Zelda's, including Hyrule. Really? Nice. Nice. Um, yeah, I really like the I really like the Zelda franchise. Um I I just got Majora's Mask on the Switch um, with the N64 Switch um, thing they have on there. Um, favorite is still Ocarina. Yeah. Um, oh, I also played... Um, what's the... The one where he has the wand. Uh, I forget the name of it. Um... But uh, yes, yes, I'll, I'll have to try out Ocarina. It, it, it does, see, I've seen it. I've, se I've seen it played, but I haven't played it myself. Um, oh, is, have we not started this thing yet? Uh oh. Oh, we haven't even started this thing. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll figure this out after our first little ad break. We're gonna have a commercial, and when we come back, uh, we're gonna play some more Breath of the Wild. So stick around. We'll be right back. Hello! We're back. Um, I uh, traveled to Hateno Village because I had neglected to do this aspect of the game, which was buy a house, uh, which you can do in the game. Um, and it sets off a whole side quest related to it. But I didn't do <laughs> I neglected t to do this. So we're going we're gonna to start it now. <laughs> so this is Bolson. He's the contractor. Uh, need something from me? What are you doing? In case it's not obvious, I'm demolishing a vacant house. Times are rough. Not a lot of buyers, you know. So the villagers decided it was best just to tear it down. Can I buy it? Oh, yeah. Whoa, get a load of the young money bags. Just wants to buy it, huh? Okie do. Let me lay it out for you. See this house? Been vacant for years. So the villagers had a meeting, argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. The demolition costs, with associated fees, permits, and other such details, come in at 50,000 rupees. Mm -hmm. So when you say you want to buy it, you're talking about 50,000 rupees. You got that much on you? Impossible! Mm -hmm. Ha, <laughs> figured. When I was your age, I had serious money problems too. So, I know how it feels all too well. All right. All right, look. Here's the deal, just for you. I'll cut you a special price of 3,000 rupees. But in return, I'm going to need you to bring me 30 wood bundles, building materials. You know how it is. Anyway, you understand the terms? Then get to it and show me what you're built of. That's a construction joke. <laughs> Hudson, Carson, stop what you're doing. You got it. All right, so we got to bring him 30 bundles of wood and 3,000 rupees. The 3,000 rupees is easy because I can sell some gems and get that. But the 30 bundles of wood is going to take time. Whole lot of time. So, um... <clears throat> We might do this part off stream. Just because I don't want to be cutting down wood all stream. <laughs> that would be incredibly boring. So, um, we got the wheels in motion. We'll come back and finish that out when we have time in between streams. <clears throat> but you bring him 3,000 3, rupees, 30 bundles of wood, you get the house. Um, uh, what's his name? <clears throat> Colson, not Bolson, the other one. The one with the weird hair. 
I forget his name. Hudson. Hudson. He uh, he heads down to this uh, island. That one, right down there. And he starts building a settlement, like a little village. Um, and you can find other people along your way to go and live there and be part of the village. It's a, it's a whole thing. But uh, <clears throat> it's very involved, and uh, we uh, we don't really... We're not. We're not. We're not gonna do it right now. <laughs> it's not important for what we're trying to do. Um, so we have the master sword. One thing we do need to do, however, is get over there. We're trying to get way over there. <laughs> so, huh? Let's see. I think, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna have to hoof it. Take the road. <clears throat> because there's some very useful stuff uh, over there. At least remembered how to shield sir. Whoops. Oh, well, it's a good thing I have two more. <laughs> I have a feeling that it's gonna pop pretty soon, so uh, I'm gonna <laughs> avoid taking a tumble here. Oh, Whoop! Or we just took a tumble anyway. <laughs> uh, we ju we started sailing just at the right moment before it it broke and landed. Oh my god! All right, well, uh, I guess that happens. Uh, all right, so let's. Uh, let's pick this one. Ha ha ha! This is the perfect shield surfing spot. <laughs> uh oh. Something. Oh, it's the, is it the wolf? No, the wolves don't care. Was it a choo choo? I don't know what it was. Anyway, later, wolves. Okay, well, that was fun. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. So, we need to get to this... <clears throat> excuse me. This shrine up here. And there's a stable right nearby. Oh, that is a... Giant skeleton. <laughs> Just... Hang well, it's not nighttime, so I don't have to worry about him. But, uh... Good to know. Good to know that he's here. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, mark that. There we go. <laughs> Just so we know. Oh, crap. Uh, let's no. Let's equip. Have we used any of these? No. These are all brand spanking new. All right, we'll use this one. And our bow is fine. Our sword is not. So we're going to use this one. There we go. Okay. Now we won't get struck by lightning. <laughs> oh, hush, wolf. Yeah, you're not so tough, huh? Wow, that was the shortest lightning storm ever. 
That was the shortest lightning storm I've ever experienced in this game. It was not even a full minute. Wow. That is incredible. Did we do that one? No. Okay, so that's even, that's another shrine we can do. That's a little that one's a little involved. We'll come we'll come back to that one. Already have a picture. Anytime you see, I see the birds. I, I I stop and and just make sure that I have a photo of them because they're the toughest thing to find. Like at the end of the game when you're going through and finding finding out what photos you need. Like any any of the weird birds are, are tough to find. I don't know what's in this ruin. Apparently nothing. There's probably a Korok hidden in there. We'll get back to that another time. Um, but yes, as I mentioned earlier, um, we had uh, had to um, preempt D&D uh, &D this week. Um... And I, I've been doing some planning for the next uh, adventure for them. And once again, I'm pulling it from an old dungeon magazine. Uh, oh, here's Beetle. Hey. I'm not even going to do his voice. I'm too tired and my voice is shot right now. Uh, yeah, he's going to want an editor to take right, oh, Beetle. Yeah. Papa, please, would you please consider giving me your energetic rhino beetle? Be to Beetle? Um, it's giving me fairy tonic. Sure, it's a deal. Wow! Thank you so much! You just don't don't see these very often. This has to be a sign. Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? Alright. Um, let's buy from him. We need all of his arrows. Take them all. Wow. Yep. <laughs> and this one. <laughs> and all of his swift carrots. And Yay. his smotherwing butterflies. Seems like an odd one, but you need them. Wow. Down the line, you will need them. So anytime you pass by this stable and talk to Beetle, buy the butterflies. <laughs> Because eventually you will need them. Oh man, this one. Oh, I forgot what the quest is for this one. Oh, not uh, the quest for the thing that we want. Colorf oh. <clears throat> Colorful leaves falling. A fort that a fort that fell to the great calamity. Unspeakable sorrow sorrow surrounds this landscape. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check out my album. Mm. Hmm. I know I've seen that spring in that goddess statue before. There was a place like this at the ruins of the no in North Akala Valley, to the west of here. Ah. It's pretty much directly west... Of here, I'm certain you'll be able to find it without any trouble. What he doesn't tell you is that there's there are bokoblins riding horses and flying guardians near the thing. So yeah, that's fun. Um, she. Ah. Hello. What? Hmm. I haven't seen you. Haven't seen you around here. Boy, you sure have strange tastes. You look like someone who has traveled willy-nilly all over the world. Who are you? Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. <laughs> I'm Nobo. I've traveled everywhere, but at the end of the day, I like Akala best of all. That's why I'm pretty familiar with stuff around here. Is there something you want to know? Uh, this area? Oh. Let's see, if you go west of the stable, there's a sacred place 
called the Spring of Power. Offer a sacred article to the Spring of Power. That's what, that's what the legend says. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was part of, the, of a ritual the Princess of Hyrule used to perform. Anything else you want to know? Farther areas. There's a lighthouse look, looking home north of here. No one has, no one was there when I last stopped by, though. Anything else you want to know? Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Um. Cool. Now we have a, a, a distinct spot for the shrine, um, which is also the area that the the painter guy just told us about. Um, but we have this shrine now, right here. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. So there's this shrine. There's the shrine at the Spring of Power. There's the shrine we passed on the way to get here. <laughs> we almost have four more shrines within reach again, which is another heart. Actually, you know what? At this point, I think we're going to be hitting stamina. We have the sword. So from here on out, we're going to get our stamina, a third stamina wheel. And then after that, hearts again. Because that's all the more you can do in stamina. It's two extra wheels. Oh, no. This is the... Oh. Actually, you know what? This this might not be that bad. Since I have, I'm using a, a controller, I'm not holding the switch. Uh, Katosa Aug apparatus. Okay. So... These are always a pain in the ass when you're playing it on the Switch because you have to turn the Switch upside down and stuff. It's it's the worst. But like this, I'm I'm thinking it should be okay. So I'm gonna hold my controller as level as possible from the start. Okay. And Boop. okay, I accidentally uh, tapped it. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Okay. And no, it was too hard. Okay, let's try it again. And that should do it. Yeah, this is much easier with the just the handheld controller. <laughs> Trying to do this with holding the switch, it's a pain in the butt. And I know it looks like we're done, but we're not done because there's another area beyond this. Okay, um, how do we get there, though? Oh, right, there's another moving platform. <clears throat> if I sound a little hoarse or raspy, it's because I choked on some water earlier today. Like, I went down the wrong pipe. Man, I hate when that happens. Oh, I just go through here. It was a bad one, too. I was like, ugh. Oh, this one. Oh, my God. This. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Okay. And. Ha ha. Don't go. Don't go. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. No, this isn't the one I was thinking of. For a second, I got worried. There's one that, that really sucks, that's motion control, and I thought this was it, but it's it's not. Um great. Oh, I was like, great, what do I what do I get? <laughs> but yeah. Alright. This had better be worth it. I'll leave it. That's fine. I don't need it right now. Whoa, oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> Thanks, platform. That was very, very useful. Very, very helpful. Thank you. These platforms suck. <laughs> uh, good lord. Uh oh. I just noticed that my uh, Streamlabs isn't recording. Great. I gotta fix that again. <laughs> Hooray! Thanks! Yay! Streamlabs, I need to do the. Great. It's fine. 
freaking Streamlabs, I swear to God. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. <sighs> it's gotta be... I mean, it... It can't be just me that's having this issue. Because every time I look it up, it's just like, oh, yeah, you just do this and it's fine. Like, oh, it fixes it. But it keeps coming back. It keeps coming back. Like, it'll fix it for a little bit, and then all of a sudden it won't record anymore after the first segment. I, is, it like a, is it like a memory cache thing that we have to zero out? I, maybe. I, I keep... And it's like it happens so infrequently that the time in between, I completely forget what I did to fix it. <laughs> the time before. It's infuriating. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I logged out of my Twitch account and then logged back in on Streamlabs. And I'm just going to have to look up the instructional video again on how to do it. Uh, it's... It's Streamlabs. That's a blame. Blame them. I mean, it doesn't impact you, anyone viewing right now. Uh, because either I've already overcome this obstacle and made the edits or you're watching it on stream right now or you're watching it on VOD on Twitch um, in which case yeah it doesn't impact you at all but to me, for me I have to take the footage and edit it for YouTube and if I don't have it recorded I have to download it from Twitch which is a lower quality and I have to cut out the commercial segments <sighs> I have my I have my situation set up that when I hit when I go to a commercial it stops recording and then when I come back from commercial it starts recording again so I just have segments that I can edit together nice and clean and when Streamlabs does stuff like this it just mm, ruins my day. If you hadn't if you couldn't tell it ruins my day. <laughs> All right, so we have this fool over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save it. <laughs> Whoops. Because I have a feeling that I'm a little rusty. Okay. It's, I had to figure out what button it was. Ah! Whoop. Okay. That. Whoop. Uh, let's try this one. Got it. Okay. Okay, so not so bad. Se second time. We got on the second truck. Second truck. That's fine. I, I would rather waste a shield than a bunch of arrows and a bow. You know, those that's the option. Either either you 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 waste a handful of arrows and some some durability on a on a bow, or you risk breaking a shield, if you do it right the first time, it's completely fine. Like, it doesn't hurt the shield at all if you do it right the first time. That's... That's actually pretty... That's, there's, that's just a huge upside for getting it. Um... So... This is the ancient Akala... Sorry. <laughs> I missed the name. Akala Ancient Tech Lab. So, th this is the point in the game where you stop running from the Guardians and start hunting the Guardians. Um, uh, not right away, eventually. Um, but this is the, this is the turning point. It's a, it's a slow turn, but this is where it starts turning. Um... It's, uh, and it does, it, it takes some of your resources and it, it does cost a good amount. Uh-oh. Who, what? Who's, 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 who's wanting a piece? Is it a wolf? Is it, it's a dog. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. <laughs> oh, there's another. Go ahead and, boop. Another shrine over there. 
I know these things have... Aha! Nice. So we're looking through the junkyard. What the hell? Like the hitbox... Oh! Got it. Cool. So, oh, okay. <laughs> There's a bunch. Wow. Whoop. Whoop. Got it. <laughs> yeah, this is a freaking treasure trove of stuff. Nice. Just all over the place. Up there. Oh, Korok. Okay. There you go. Whoop. No, I didn't want to talk to him. There we go. <laughs> he doesn't really have anything to say. He says Tweehee, which I guess is something, but it, no, it's nothing relevant. Okay. Whoop. Uh, that's the talk option again. There we go. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa's. Uh. Yeah, you can search this thing very thoroughly and maybe find there's there's maybe a couple more that I missed, but you get you get the you get the idea. <laughs> it's a bunch a bunch of that stuff. Um so, let's see. Oop. That's not the right thing, but whatever. Uh, so, so little. <laughs> so little in there. Is that really, really necessary? Okay, so without any further ado, let's go into the lab. Oh, where is everybody? They sleep? I, it's, and it's. Oh, there they are. Hi. Hey, you, what are you doing here? Okay, <laughs> that seems like a completely normal thing for somebody to, uh... Alright, I think I need that, and I think I... Oh, I do have to show him my underwear at some point, if I remember correctly. Are you the one called Link? Yes! Hmm, hmm, that's too bad. If you were the legendary Link, there would be something important I need to tell you. But how can I determine with full certainty whether or not you are the true hero? Yes, how indeed, hmm? Mm -hmm, yes, if you can show me the wounds your body suffered 100 years ago, that should prove you are truly Link. Uh, all right, old man, if you want me to strip, I'll strip. Weirdo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, the number of scars on your body, just as I remember. Most seem to have healed, but they do line up with the scars I know you got during the Great Calamity 100 years ago. Hmm, yes, I, I acknowledge you as the real Link, so let us begin again. I am the lead guardian researcher and director of the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Dr. Robbie! In any case, I really am impressed that you made it all the made it all the way out to this rather remote location. Did you perchance meet Pura and borrow her power? I, I met a child. Hmm, Pura, a child? 
What? She really was a, has a kid? Hmm. Or do you mean that Pura aged backward and she is now a child? Uh, Pura got younger. Hmm. Are you certain? Hmm. So she's as crazy as ever. Okie doke. Knowing her, I'm guessing she screwed up some experiment. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Typical. Let us return to the subject at hand. Hmm. Did you know that the Calamity is regaining its power? I know. Hmm, I see. Then I don't need to tell you my story, hmm? Uh, tell me. Hmm, yes, I see. In that case. The goal of our Sheikah Research Lab is simple, really. We aim to destroy the Calamity that has endured across time. To rid Hyrule of its dark influence, and above all, to rescue Princess Zelda, who is now a prisoner of the Calamity. We have worked ourselves to the bone conducting our research. For a time, I feared I'd pass before we could prevail. However, you, Link, managed to awaken before this old sack of flesh gave out. That means the time is now. Hmm, yes, yes. You, now is the time for to join forces with us, Sheikah, yes? We must destroy the Calamity! Let's do it. Yes, that is correct. You and I are going to join forces to put an end to the Calamity. And on that note, sorry for the long preamble, but I'd like to provide you with some ancient soldier gear. Hmm, hmm, did you catch all that? <sighs> Cherry, Erm, the ancient oven, creates ancient soldier gear, but I fear she's out of sorts at the moment. Hmm, I'm afraid someone will have to bring the blue flame from across the ancient furnace again. Oh, okay. So, okay. Uh, let me get dressed first. <laughs> so weird. Okay, so um, here's the deal with this thing. We have to get blue flame from all the way over there and light this furnace. Once we do that, we're set. There are a number of these uh, sconces um, along the path that leads between the two points, the, the furnace and the, where the blue flame is. Um, in the past, I have approached this quest thinking that I had to light all of the torch sconces. You don't have to. <laughs> you only have to get it from there to that. Point A to point B. The other points are there simply to facilitate the trip. You don't have to use light every single one. You could, like, for instance, uh, light one that you can see from a certain point with a uh, an arrow that's lit with the blue flame, and then just kind of leapfrog like that in a in a very quick way. In the past, the past two time I've two times I've done this, I've lit every single one of those torches. I didn't have to. <laughs> You only have to get it to the other side. How you do it is completely up to you. Um, yeah, it's, it, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I didn't understand, I didn't understand the, uh, the, the assignment. <laughs> All right, so, uh, we're gonna try and get, there are moblins all over the place here, by the way. Moblins all over. Whoop, he's dead. <laughs> well, he's dead. Hello, you're dead too. Wow, this bow is awesome. <laughs> this bow rocks, man. Ooh, fire key swing. Is that my first fire key swing? Awesome. Yeah, this bow is uh, it's pretty pretty dope. I don't need that. All right, so that being said, uh, we are going to swap bows because I don't want. Yeah, we can use one of these, the one that has been used yet, or the one that's being used already, because um, we want good range. Because uh, we just want to light it. And we'll light this. Perfect. And we'll use that to light the one 
over here. Got it. And we'll swap out the bow to this one. And swing down, kill this guy. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Good old Moblin Skeletons. When one Moblin isn't enough. <laughs> Apparently. Um, Alright, so that's lit. That uh, might help us. We need to get... Ooh, down there. Uh, that actually... I think that'll actually help. Um, if we can get it either... Either in that one or that one, which would be a little... <laughs> A little better. One that's not surrounded by moblins. Uh, or, sorry, bokoblins. <clears throat> so let's go back to... We're going to be doing this a lot. Swapping between these two bows. So let's light it. Ooh, light it. Light it. There we go. And hopefully it'll stay lit for us to go over here. Hmm... Well, it's a good thing we have two other falcon bows. Oh, stop it. Alright. So, whoop. Lit. And we need to aim a little high. In order to hit it. Oh! Well, that's that was a little too high. But, ooh, there's another one down there. Maybe that would be easier. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of want to do it this way. Oh, sorry. Let's do that. Ooh, hit, hit, hit. Oh man, really? Oh well. Okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe we we have to do it the old-fashioned way here first. Um, all right, let's see. And we'll hit this and try and get as far down as we can. Um, I think there's a I think there might be a closer one. Yeah, right there. Okay. So if we can get to that, if we can light that one, we might be in good shape. Whoop. I need a better bow. I need a bow, period. I don't have any bows right now. All right. Let's equip this one so we can kill this moblin. So these are blue moblins. Oops. No. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Sir? Sir. Hello. Hello. Oh. Got him. Dead. Okay. So, uh, it sucks that I, I didn't grab a torch. I would rather grab a torch than have to waste this uh, dragon bone moblin club. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do it from here. Um, sorry, whoops. Let me switch to this. Jump slightly over here. Whoops. And aim and bam. Got it. Okay, cool. That is... Perfect. So yeah, that's all we got to do. We have to we have to tactically uh, find the best route for these uh, lanterns. <clears throat> all right, so kill these moblins.
Okay, well, before that happens. Whoops. Whoop. Whoops, that was the wrong dodge. My bad. That was my bad. <laughs> I think I sniffs around while I tumble slowly in pain. Okay, here we go. There. He's dead. And there goes Guts. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um... Ooh, actually, the Bokoblin Fang I will take, because I need uh, I need a bunch. For fairy fountain purposes. Okay, so... Um, let's swap out our bow yet again. And hit this one now. Ta-da! Perfect. Oh, I hit him in the head, clearly. Come on. <laughs> that was four shots to the head. How many more head... How, uh, how much more of a headshot do you need me to do? Come on. Come on, game. Don't be like that. <laughs> All right. Um, so our next target is that one. Um, ooh. Yeah, yeah, because if we could, if we hit that one, we might be able to arc it up to hit that one, or that was no, or that one. Yeah, we could hit that one. Maybe get that one from down there. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Uh, the, the trick with the, ooh, to do it this way is to do it all before it starts to rain. Ooh, that was a good shot. It's almost like golf. <laughs> in a way, in a weird way, this is almost like golf. Oh, we got a visitor. Got him. Got it. Whoops. There we go. This bow is great. All right, so, ooh, that is perfect. That's lined up perfect. They did that on purpose. Yeah. Oops. All right, I imagine that there is going to be a moblin somewhere around here. <laughs> Whoops. And it's raining. And it is now raining. So... Can I still light this? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Alright. Good enough. There is one along here. If I can make it to that, I should be okay. It is no longer raining, BT Dubs. Hello, Mr. Boar. Please leave me alone. I don't have time. Alright. Just get it to get it to the lantern, get it to the lantern, get it to the lantern. Yes! All right, can I get it to this lantern? I I mean, I'd like to keep this club, but you know what? It's it this is more important. If I can get it all the way, that would be great. If not, whatever. Ta-da!
Cool. That takes much less time that way. <laughs> Ain't Akala Ancient Tech Lab has been added to your map as a travel gate. All right. Cool beans. Wow. Yeah. Um, third time's charm. To actually do that correctly. Oh, uh, it took that. It always bugged the hell hell out of me too. That quest. I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta light all these things. Uh, it's such a pain in the ass. You don't. <laughs> you just have to light this one. The trick is getting the fire there. You don't have to use every lantern. Uh, did not realize that. At the time, did not realize it. Oh, we can talk to her. Hi. Good day. And hey. check it out. How's that? I figured I'd give it an, give an impression of a Tenno Ancient te Tech Lab's director Pura a shot. Maybe it was a bit much for the first time meeting it meeting you though. Not at all. Ah. Uh. Oh, Link, I'm really glad you're such a friendly guy. So, what do you need from me? Uh, about Robbie. He asked me to take my clothes off. I was really uncomfortable. Robbie's one of the researchers of ancient civilizations. He was studying guardians at Hyrule Castle 100 years ago. Oh, Robbie, we're a half century apart. Oh, oh, Robbie, we're half a century apart, age-wise. But we never let that get in the way. He and I are married. You're married? Yes, indeed. Together we run the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. I've got a son as well. Have you any other questions? I gotta go. See you later. All right, so uh, this is now fully functional. You can talk to Robbie again. You, Link, listen up. Hmm. My darling Cherry is back to normal. Such is the power of love. My love made Cherry well again. Uh, yeah, the furnace is lit. Wait a oh, well, thank you. Yes, quite. Now then, please take this as a gift of my gratitude now that Cherry is fixed. All right, three more ancient arrows. That's awesome. Uh, sweet. They are made using secret Sheikah technology. With the addition of my upgrades, they have morphed into anti-calamity weapons, so to speak. Needless to say, they are an incredibly powerful type of ancient soldier gear. I like to call them Whoa. Ancient Arrows! In addition to Ancient Arrows, Cherry can make all kinds of ancient soldier gear. If you're looking to acquire some, give me your ancient materials and rupees to Cherry. <coughs> rupees? Did you hear that? Uh, forgive me, Link. Ever since the fall of Hyrule Castle, we haven't had much in the way of funds for our research. That's why I thought you might be willing to help us out. With rupees. Lots of them. I beg of you. Let's do it, huh? The two of us, as soon as possible. Uh, whoa. Yes, let's <laughs> conquer the calamity, hmm? Okay, I'm going to stand over here now on this side of the room. Hey, hey, beep. Familiar name missing. Insert materials and rupees. Receive ancient equipment in exchange. All right, so we have a good amount of gear. The one thing that we want is this ancient bow. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to definitely buy one of these. That's most of our money, by the way. Which is fine. Cool. And as many ancient arrows as we can afford, which is 3. <laughs> That's fine. We can, we can get three more, and we're good. Oh, we can actually get uh, a couple here and there. Um, oh, we can get 15 more, but that's going to use up all of our ancient shafts, and we need those for other... Well, we need them for arrows, really. Yeah. Oh, and this. Actually, just that one. And we need ancient... Oh, my God. We need a bunch of ancient gears. So, here's how this works. <laughs> you don't get the armor right away. You get a, you get a weapon. Uh, the bow is really the best, in my opinion. Um, you get the, the, the bow and a, a handful of arrows. And you go out and you hunt guardians. And they drop ancient materials that you can then bring back 
and use to make this stuff. So the first one, oh my god, you need nine ancient cores. So that's going to be a little tough to get because that's a rare drop. Um, so uh, it's a little tough. You may have to like farm, like pot, like save it right before you fight a guardian. And then if it doesn't drop an ancient core, load your save and fight it again. Kill it again and see if it drops an ancient core. That kind of thing. I mean, that's a way to cheese it. Otherwise, you're spending a lot of money and a lot of time. I mean, you're spending a lot of time that way. But it's maybe less time overall uh, to get to get these. Because it's nine ancient cores is no small thing. I only need four more. But nine ancient cores is a lot. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we got the bow, which is why we want the, the main thing we wanted coming here. And we got a handful of arrows. So we're in good shape. Um, thank you for your time. Come again. Bwop. Familiar name missing. Okay, cool. Um, so another thing that we can, we, uh, we get from being here in the ancient tech lab, um, there is a telescope up here, but that's not really the most, oh, I should get an apartment here. I wonder how much these rooms go for. <laughs> um... The, the best thing here is uh, you have basically a route now to get to one of the mazes, uh, which is out there. There it is. And you can see a shrine just teasing you right there. Yep. Um, and we, you can you can glide there if you have enough stamina. You can just glide all the way there from from this uh, rooftop. It is possible, um, and typically the way you get there first, <laughs> the first time. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and uh, it's a that that area in particular is a great place to farm for guardian parts, um, and you don't really need ancient arrows to do it once. All of a sudden done. I'm just I'm not gonna spoil any more on that. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> so uh, cool. We got what we came for here in Akala. Um, I kind of want to do this shrine. Um, how many orbs do we have? How are we How are we doing? One. Okay. <laughs> kind of thought we had more than that, but I, I guess not. Um, tell you what. Let's let's go to the spring of power. Oh, hey, the Korra. Of course there's a Korok here. Sweet. Let's uh let's go to the Spring of Power that they're talking about. Because that's A, an important plot point, and B, um It's a shrine there's a shrine there. Uh also C, we have what we need in order to activate the shrine. Just by happenstance. Uh maybe by accident. <laughs> Maybe by providence, um, <clears throat> we we uh, we sort of accidentally, when we were upgrading our stuff in between streams, we accidentally got a material that was not needed for upgrading our stuff, but is needed in this instance. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting we have Revali's Gale. I've never had it this early in the game before. <laughs> it makes it so much easier. Best champion ability ever. <laughs> From the least likable champion. Uh. Alright. So, Spring of Power is in this little... Uh, uh, what would you call that? I guess it would, it would be a caldera? It looks volcanic. Either volcanic or like a meteor hit it right there. But the volcano's right there, so I'm going to lean toward volcanic. <laughs> An old fumarole? Is fumarole the right, right term? I don't... I don't know. Anyway, uh, here's the spring power. Boom, son. We made it here. And look, there's a memory right there. 
<clears throat> and you know what? We're going to take a look at that memory after our second little ad break. So come on back after the break and we'll uh, dive a little deeper into, into Link's psyche together. And we're back. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. So, <laughs> uh, this is, we are at the Spring of Power. Um, we've uh, we've sort of cheated our way here. We took a very, very uh, obvious shortcut, you know. Um, <clears throat> and uh, now we're gonna get a, another recollection for Link. I also refilled my water. <clears throat> I come seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet... Grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear... or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, Quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. You. Kind of a shitty thing to I've say. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the <clears> spirits <throat> tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven deaf to my devotion. Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? I can see your butt through her pants. It's the one thing. There's one takeaway is that he could see her butt through through her dress in the water. <laughs> you have done well to find this spring. Offer Dinral's scale. Receive from the Red Spirit to the Spring of Power. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. All right, um, scale of Dinral, scale of Dinral. Oh, this thing I got. I accidentally uh, got a uh, scale of Dinral. I was trying to take a, get a piece of his horn, and I got a scale instead. Oh well, <laughs> it worked out. I needed it anyway. Right here. Hey, that looks like a shrine. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Your path has shown itself. Now go forth. So, for this shrine, I can't remember if, like, for half of these shrines, I can never remember if the challenge was getting to the shrine and then it just gives you the orb. Or the Tutsawa. Tutsuwa Nima. Tutsuwa Nima. Shrine. If getting to the shrine was was the challenge, or if there's an actual challenge inside the shrine as well, um, <clears throat> I'm always I'm, I'm most of the time I'm I'm wrong. I'm gonna say this this we just get the orb. I, I'm gonna hope <laughs> that's my hope. We just get, I don't feel like doing another another shrine challenge. I just want I just want just give me the orb. Just give it. Oh, oh, it's a challenge. Oh, it's a test of strength. <laughs> to you, I set foot in the shrine. I am Tutsu Anima in the name of the goddess Hylia. I offer this combat trial. A major? Oh, poopers. Okay, all right, not a big deal. Not a big deal. 
we we handled the minor one uh like it was a walk in the park so we are just gonna we are just gonna soldier forth and and do ooh actually these are better now these are these are our most our most uh powerful pants so we'll we'll wear those we'll keep that and we'll keep that all right cool our, our best armors uh that shield's fine we'll stick with this and the bow i guess that's fine oh yeah uh we didn't get to really look at the the stats of the bow uh 44 attack power yeah and uh very little dip in the arc there's very little arc it's just boom straight line with a little dip at the end the best trajectory a best trajectory bow in the game um let's use this let's use the yeah, let's use this to fight and you know what also we're gonna stick Ooh, oh we're gonna have to be very careful with these because the floor is water <laughs> so yeah that's a, that's an issue um also we can use uh crionis crionis Oops. there we go <clears throat> All right, I'm pretty sure I have a picture of this one, so I'm not even going to try. And even if, even if I don't, I can always come back. Whoops. That was the wrong dodge. I'm glad it was too, uh... Okay, that was slow, or too fast, sorry. start doing this. Alright, let's time it right. There we go. Alright. So now, we're just gonna... We'll use this one. There we go. Whoops. There we go. Ah, crap. Now this is where he starts doing that. Yep. Run. Ah! Oh god. I ran out of room. <laughs> A little bit of a little bit of issue, but we're fine. Yeah. All right. Um, cool parts. Got some parts. Got a cool shield, and a sword, and the spear. The spears are never good, so I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> they're they're always super weak and then and fragile to boot. And then yeah. the way the spear works is you hit. The, it is the most you hit the most with the spear when you are attacking. Um, it's the fastest attack, so you get in more hits for the time in the time you're attacking. So the fragility of the ancient spear is really a huge problem 
because you get in like eight hits and it's just like, oh, it's 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 in bad shape and it just breaks. <laughs> and it's like, oh, great. I had it for all of eight seconds. That feels great. Um, flame spear. We'll just leave it. We, oh, no, no. We'll just leave the flame spear. Um, and we will equip that. I might as well change our equipment out, back out. We'll keep that. Uh, oop, oop, and the uh, bow. We'll we'll keep that bow. That'll be our bow for now. No, that's fine. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. Hmm. We will be using the new bow very soon. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts the prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Is that three? I think that's three. It's two. Okay. <laughs> Not even. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, so yeah, it doesn't look like we're getting another, uh... Well, maybe. If we're quick, we can hit two more shrines. I, uh, we know where there's one other shrine. We just marked it on our thing. We might be able to reach it with, uh, Rivali's Gale. Um, and there's one in the labyrinth, but... I don't really want to do the labyrinth right now. That one, that's a little... That was a little involved in the difficult. <laughs> So, nah. All right. Um, so, out here. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. I don't know why I was doing that. I have a flame sword equipped. There. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Ugh. All right. All right. All right. The arrow goes right through it. But I walk, I walk up to it and hit it once with the sword and it disintegrates like a freaking stack of cards. Oh, come on. All right. Switch back. Dead. Ugh, freaking skeletons. Every time. Every time. Eh, I'll take a soldier shield. Why not? Um, alright. Switch back so that I can continue with what I was gonna do. Whoa! Okay, okay. So these guardians, uh, the flying guardians, they are kinda nasty if they spot you, but they can only spot you if you are in their crosshair, more or less. And, uh,. They follow a very specific path, but they don't deviate from that path unless they spot you inside that path. You feel me? Um, <clears throat> so, as long as you don't get spotted by them, you're fine. Um, hmm, how do I want to do this? Do I want to do it this way? I guess this works. So, the fun thing about these ones is that they're very, is that they're very easy to kill. Once you get the arrows, you can hit them like that, and they're freaking dead. One hit kills. And look at this pinata of great stuff. Great stuff. Um, and we have two more. They're they're eventually they're at, they're essentially flying treasure chests <laughs> at this point in the game. That can hurt you, yes, if you're not careful. But <clears throat> as long as you play it safe. Hello, sir. Look at all that. Look at all that. And now I can make I can actually go and make stuff. Make the make the armor eventually. I need more ancient cores, but <clears throat> I mean, essentially, what you want at the very base level are the materials to make more arrows, right? Like a lot, like more than you use, essentially. And the ancient shafts are are, sent, are, ba are basically what you need. Um, 
for that, I think. And springs. Springs and shafts, I think, are the, are the most commonly used things for the arrows. Really? Two gems? <clears throat> spoil me, spoil me. Uh-oh. Oh, hello. I need to switch this. Where are you going? Get back here. <laughs> okay. As I was saying. <laughs> and actually, I forget what I was saying. Really? Two ambers? Wow. Some stingy uh, ore deposits in here. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, you you essentially want to want to get materials to make the arrows that you at least the arrows that you used to get the materials, right? So we use three arrows, um, and we can easily make that uh, with what we found, and then so I think we can probably make like three times what we with what we got. Um, so that's that's nice. And, and, yeah, it's essentially the, the best way to farm. Um, <clears throat> the flying ones are probably the, the best ones to farm just because they're limited in their mobility. And I know it sounds weird. Um, but, yeah, they don't... They move along a, a set path unless they spot you. Their vision is limited. So if you are in their blind spot, which is anything outside that red cone, they don't see you. <laughs> so... You can you can be right next to them and they won't as long as you're not in the red cone they won't see you. So that's that's very uh, a, a huge uh, thing you can exploit. <clears throat> um, but yeah, okay. So I don't know where else we can go for shrinage. Uh, oh, we can do the tower. We have yeah, we got some time. Um, how do we want to do that though? Oh, we're oh, that's gonna be. <clears throat> you know what? Let's do it. It's gonna be tricky, and it's gonna be dangerous. But you know what? First, we're gonna go back to the the ancient tech lab. Because I really, I really think, I think we should restock our arrows because that tower is in a pretty nasty area and we're going to need more arrows. A lot more. So, uh, the arrow production also consumes regular arrows in your inventory. So keep that in mind. Also money, of which we have like none. So <laughs> let's uh, let's go down here first and sell some stuff to Beetle, <clears throat> and also buy some arrows from Beetle if he's got if he's got any more. A hundred and one Korok seeds. <clears throat> And that sounds like a lot, but as I said before with the shrines, I mean, sure, it's a lot, fractionally. <laughs> it's yeah. one quarter, maybe even less uh, than the, uh, yeah, it is probably a fifth of the Korok seeds. All right, I'm not going to do his voice again because my voice is, is already gone. <laughs> yep, 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 Energetic Rhino Beetle. Sure, Beetle, go ahead and take all my frickin' Energetic Rhino Beetles. God forbid if I ever need one. <clears throat> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Uh, what have you got? Uh, he has nothing. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to sell to him then. Oh. I was hoping he would have arrows again, but time not enough time has passed. Oh man, what do I? What can I even sell? Um. I mean, I can sell some gems. I'd rather not, though. I guess we'll sell some opals. We 
<clears throat> we are going to need some for upgrading our Zora armor. I know it for a fact. So you know what? Let's do Luminous Stones. We'll eventually need some, but not right, not right now. Let's sell 12. Sure, 840 rupees sounds good. And let's sell 13 ambers. So yeah, that sounds fine. Um, oh, uh, let's sell 26 of these. Whoa, too far. go and how about 20 yeah, 26 of these yep yeah monster parts can occasionally be surprisingly uh, lucrative <laughs> I'll sell 30 of these Ooh, 30 of those yeah wow all right um, how much are these Hinox? 20 rupees each. I'd rather hang on to them. Honestly. <laughs> That's not enough to make me sell them. I only have like four. Um, not selling any ancient gear. That's the reason we're here in the first place. Um, <clears throat> oh, we can sell these now. We don't need these at all. Yay! We can sell any spicy food we have because we have clothing okay. now. That does that protects us from the cold, so we don't need any of these. They're just <laughs> folding up uh, spaces in our inventory. Wow! <laughs> yep, and sure, ten rupees. Whatever. Um, anything else? Uh, I guess these we don't... Well, we'll hang on to them. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> oh, I have 30 bundles of wood. <laughs> okay, I just didn't have... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably should have checked my inventory. Jeez. Uh, oh, well. Uh, I will need to get some money, though, because this is gonna... Now that I've got my... Oops. No, 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 no. Um, now that I've got uh, access to all this ancient tech, I'm gonna be uh, spending a bit of money on it. So, back up we go. Actually, I don't need to do that. I can just do this. But I'm lazy, and I'm trying to keep this interesting. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so after we uh, buy some arrows, swap out some arrows, essentially, we're gonna head back to Zora, the Zora settlement, Zora village, whatever you wanna call it. And we're going to get back up to that ridge and try and use Rivali's Gale to get as high up on Akala Tower as we can. Uh, all right, oh, ooh. Uh, so th the bundle of five calls for ancient springs, which we can do, but that will be most of our ancient springs, and we need those for to make other stuff, um, namely the greaves, which, uh, oh, we can make, uh, uh, we can't make any of it yet. We need more ancient gears. That's the big thing right now. We need 60 ancient gears to make the armor on top of other stuff. So let's let's focus on <clears throat> the three the three bundle. And uh yep. Buy them three at a time and just see what happens. So we have six in our inventory now. We have nine in our inventory now. We have twelve in our inventory now. And I think if we do fifteen we're we'll be in good shape. And we can afford it. <clears throat> Alright. 15 in inventory. Alright. That's a good spot. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. 
So, now we're going to go back to Zora Domain. This is just so roundabout, but I, th I think it's going to be the easiest way to get there. And since we have Rivali's Gale, it's possible. It wouldn't be possible without. I mean, it's certainly going to, it would certainly be, you know, a better option still. But with, with, with Rivali's Gale, it makes it a plausible option. Uh, have you reg regular arrows? No. Oh, I'll take more Swift Violet, though. Yeah. Take them all. Yep. <laughs> all right. Uh, later. All right. <clears throat> so let's get back up. Let's get our oops. Let's get our Zora gear on. Oh, and uh, last last time we were um trying to think of where the Cephalina would be, the warm Cephalina. As it turns out. All three kinds of Cephalina can be found in the Gerudo region. Two of them in the desert, one of them in the mountains. Um, they can be found elsewhere, uh, in like the Herba Mountains for the cold Cephalina, and I think that's it. That's the only other place you can find any Cephalina. Uh, the Gerudo Desert is where you can find two of them. And the Gerudo Highlands is where you can find the uh, the cold Cephalina, specifically. So, <laughs> and we needed to improve um, our cold weather uh, outfit that we got from the Rito. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it actually says it right on the ingredient when you when you move when you when you select it in your menu. It actually says what it says where to find it says where to find it. So. Yeah. I did not notice it last week. All right, I remember this one being a little pain, but um, I don't want to use up Ravali's Gale. So. I could have, I could have used it to do a high jump and then glide toward the water fountain, but don't want to do it. <clears throat> Brute force it. Oop, oop. There we go. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Tower. And I think we want to try and get as close as we can. The tower is over here, I think. There it is. Found it. And there's those elephants. Eh. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, throw your fit. Oh, you didn't even see me. Cool. <laughs> that works too. <clears throat> okay, so oh, there's another shrine right there. Boom. Cool. All right, and as you, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can see, there is a flying guardian right there. Okay, so um, preparation, preparations. Let's go ahead and equip the good bow and the good arrows, and hope we don't have to. Hope we don't accidentally fire it at something. <laughs> Somebody. Uh, where did I get a... Oh! That's right. The Master Sword doesn't take up a weapon slot. It, it it comes with its own weapon slot. I was about to say, I could have sworn I only had... I only had the... Tw the What was it? 15? Yeah. Nice. Dude, nice. Alright. Um, what, what weapon do I have? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Well, let's change that. Let's just stick with this. All right. <laughs> Maximum effort. <clears throat> let's 
So ideally, we will be descending just as this guardian is coming back, but it looks like that might not be the case. Oh, 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 maybe. Where's he going? Oh, he's coming. Oh, he coming. Oh, he coming. Oh, he's going that way. Well, maybe we still have a little bit of time and plenty of stamina. Come back this way, 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 come back this way. Ooh, yes, perfect! Got it. Aha! Nice. All right. <laughs> and we're at Akala Tower. Um, that's one guardian down. Uh, and we can climb our way right up, right up there. Um, but there are uh, a number of moblins and bacoblins and other nasty things <clears throat> littering this place. I think there's a Korok over here, which I really should not concern myself with. <laughs> um, oh, it might be a chest. Oh, pebbets. All right, well, you guys can have this. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> uh, down to a science. deal here which might might be a Korok now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's a Korok. Alright, well, whatever. Yep, found you. Yep, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so glad I can help. Okay, so um, we can climb our way up there. We have enough stamina, um, and there's enough. There are enough ridges here on this this natural section that um, I think we should be okay. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, great! It's raining. Ah! Now I gotta give up, or else I'm gonna run out of stamina. As I've said, rain is the worst enemy in Breath of the Wild. There we go. Alright. Um, one, two, up. 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 Okay. Whew, thank God we have that extra little bit. That's <laughs> really pulling us through here. Um, okay. One, two, up. One, two, up. Okay. Um, oh, there's something up there. I can hear it. And we got this. Oh, they're down there. Hey, guys. <laughs> well, we can just ignore him. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. All right, I'm gonna have to eat a stamina. So oh, I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any. Oh no. Great. All right. Nope. That's just, uh, whoop. Whoop. Just trying not to slide down and have to fight those things. Um, tell you what, we'll, we'll try a hasty elixir. That'll make us move faster. <sighs> Worth a shot. One, two, okay. Well, one, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. Okay, we made it. Okay. 
Get up there. Jeez. All right. We have Bokoblins. Uh, a Bokoblin. All right. Bunch of creepy, goopy stuff. It's fine. I think we can sneak strike this guy. What is he? Alright, he's really amped about that sword in the corner, I guess. And shield. Sure, who wouldn't be? <laughs> Alright, we got a black book over there. Ooh, there's there's our Mr. Man. He doesn't come up, up high enough to spot us up here. So that's good. Um, let's go ahead and swap this out for this and regular arrows because we have some oh are we getting chilly we might be no we're fine uh we have the flame blade that's right aha flame blade comes in handy <clears throat> all right let's see yeah This one's kind of tricky, as you can see. <laughs> oh, that thing is. Rivali's gale is now ready. Thank you, Rivali. You've been most helpful. Uncharacter and uncharacteristically helpful, some would say. All right. Um. So he flies along the stairs here. Um. Which. Ideally, we want to hit him in a hit him so that he drops his uh, his treasure <laughs> in a spot that we can access. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that's that's a little tricky. So I mean, we don't have to we don't have to deal with him right now. He means he's literally he literally literally cannot see us. Take care of this guy. Ooh. Done. Cool. Um, Okie dokie. I guess we'll jump on that. Whoops. And we missed. Not a problem. It's not like lava, so I think we're okay. I guess he saw me. Or he thought he saw me. Oh, no, he, he, he gave up. <laughs> Alright. 100 bucks! Alright, so. Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna take a little bit of doing to uh, get our way up. Around here. Uh, all right. Well. Oh, what are you doing? Whoa! He teleported to the ground. Did you see that? <laughs> So, um, kind of want to smack. Oh, here we go. I was gonna say, I kind of want to smack these open, but I don't think I have a big blunt thing. I do indeed. Oh, hello. Sneaky, sneaky. Fire arrows. All right. 
right. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's keep using this. It's Erberg. An epic fire weapon. Whoa. All right. Can we get to... Okay, we can. Okay, we've got that bow. We have our regular arrows. Oh. Oh, our speed ran out. That sound effect always weirds me out because I don't use elixirs that often. So every, anytime I hit a little whoosh, I'm like, oh god, what is that? Ooh, he did. <laughs> I used up all of my stamina. But he's dead. Spiked Boko, but that's actually pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> Not, uh... Eh, I'm not really gonna lose any sleep if I don't take that. Um. All right, I'm trying to assess and remember how we get up because that's clearly blocked. Oops. That's blocked. Oh, I think there's a, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a, an eyeball over there that I have to kill. And actually, haha, -ha! suck on that. <laughs> or I can just do that. I mean, I mean, that works too. <laughs> Fifteen minutes left in the stream. Let's let's just let's just let's wrap. Let's get this going. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Yeah. All right. Shika Tower activated. Alright, so now we have the Akala area mapped. Cart cart cartographed. Cartographied. <laughs> Scanning area. So, <clears throat> we know where there's one more shrine. We can easily get to it. I say we go and do that one. It's right near a stable. So we can also pick up some more arrows, which we need. There we go. The Akala area is mapped. Sweet. Um, yeah, regional map extracted, baby. <clears throat> Dope. Okay. Um, I guess let's do that shrine. Oh, there's another shrine. Hello. That one is uh, more toward the Goron area. So we'll, we'll we'll hold off on that. So is that. Oh. That was the one I was looking at. Oh no, that one's that one's fine. Yeah, that's the one we want. Perfect. Do it. Um, yeah, there's a couple more guardian flying guardians. Ah, uh, oh yeah, there's like three more. Um, yeah, you can see all of the all of the nonsense we skipped. <laughs> just to, just to do that. I mean, you know, you, you know. Wow, so many shrines. Oh wait, I thought I saw. Oh no, there is. There is another one over there. You can just. It keeps popping in and out. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, what is going on with this thing today? We've had a couple weird little glitches in uh, in this Zekasho shrine. Zekasho. Zekasho. Welcome to Zekasho. We reserve very fine chocolates at the cacho. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> My 
My cats are starting to stare at me because they know it's almost time for food. <laughs> End of the stream, aka food time. All right. Oh, thing. Oh no, it's another one of these. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Zakasho in the name of the goddess Hadia for this trial. Zakasho apparatus. All right. We can just do that. <laughs> This one... Okay, we can do that. Oh, right. You gotta run. Uh-huh. Oh, you gotta make it, like, all the way. <laughs> well, we certainly boned ourselves, didn't we? Actually, not really. Do that. Move over here. Wait. Turn that one off. Repeat. Or we could hit that the crystal with an arrow. That's another way you can do it. Whoop! I gotta wait for, for wait for it to recharge. And stop. There we go. That is not a metal treasure chest, unfortunately. How do we do this? Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Okay. So there's a thing. Yep, that pops up. Right. Yeah, God! Oh, uh, and I'm dead. <laughs> oh. oh, well. Oh, well. Please don't put me at the other side. Oh, what is... Oh, hello. <laughs> well, um, okay. Okay. Well, now we know what it looks like, what shape it is. I mean, I knew it existed. I just I forgot what it, what it looked like. So, do that. It's going to circle back down. Whoa. Okay. And go. Let's go. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Whew. Put that away. Thank you. <laughs> it's better be worth all the... It's so easy. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> the worst possible thing. <laughs> the only way it would be worse if it were an apple. Oh, great. Okay, well... Whatever. Oh, here we go. Ah, another one of these. Oh, this one. Okay, this is this is fine. Whoops. Whoops. No, you don't. Yep, 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 yep. Nope, no, no, no. Nope. 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 Whoa! <laughs> that was, uh, sorry. That was a little, uh... God. It's... Oh, 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 no, no, no. Well, we got one. Oh, look at that does me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 no, 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 Nudge, just a nudge, little nudges. Come on, come on, no. Go in, thank you. And you, go in, go in, go in. What are you doing? Okay, whew, did it. <laughs> All right, hooray. And 
And that's that shrine. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Would you like any Sonic the Hedgehog rings? I, I, I know I'm not the only one who sells them. It's, it's just, I have so many. All right, one more and we get more stamina. Yes. May the goddess smile upon you. Dude, awesome. <laughs> uh, cool. All right, well, that's one more shrine down. Um, one more and we get bonus. Bonus thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Cool. We can go to the stable, talk to Beetle, get some more arrows. He should have more at this point. Ugh, excuse me, at this point. Jeez, sorry. He's going to take my last... Oh, I'm still so thankful and excited about the Beetle he gave me earlier. Okay, yeah. He knows I have more. He's just like, uh, should, I don't, should I ask for more? Uh, you shouldn't. Okay. At least he's got arrows. All right, cool. There we go. Um, these are still very good for making um, extra heart elixirs. These come in handy down the road pretty soon. So let's just buy those two. Get them. Sure. Just so we have them. Uh, nope, we're good. All right, cool. Um... There's a quest here that we can do really quick. Let me just check my inventory to make sure that it will, in fact, be quick. Yes, it will. <laughs> okay. What do you want? I'm just hanging out. We'll see about that. Aww. Hmm. What's that? What do you have there? That's Armoranth, isn't it? Could you, um, maybe give me some? Sure. Oh, maybe this isn't the quest I think it is. Oh, no, maybe it is. Thank you. For for you to be walking around with my favorite plant, it seems you and I may just get along after all. Mm -hmm. That said, Akala is famous for, well, nothing. So I have to ask, what could you possibly have come here for? I'm a traveler. You know, like Blue's Traveler. Why you gotta give me the runaround? I see... A traveler, eh? In that case, I have a request for you. My little sister Glima is a huge fan of insects. I know, I don't get it either. But apparently there's a certain insect she's dying to see in real life. She won't tell me about it, though. Mm. I suppose there are some things you just can't talk about with those you're closest to. Anyway, would you mind talking to her and trying to figure out which silly insect she's so crazy about? It's for her birthday. Think of it as a special birthday favor. Ooh, or even a birthday quest. Look, just do it, okay? All right, weirdo. <laughs> so her sister is... Normally over here, she might be asleep. Because her sister is a little... Oh, yep, she's asleep. Try to save me. All right, so it looks like we're not going to do that. Finish that just this minute. Um, but that's cool, because we're about to wrap up stream anyway. Um, thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by. Um, uh, Gabrielle, so nice to nice to uh, talk with you. Um, and uh, have, have a lovely evening. I'm assuming it's around the same time <laughs> down there in, in Brazil. Um, but uh, have, have a lovely evening. Uh, anyone else who's uh, stopped by to lurk and, and watch, it's always appreciated if you're watching this on, on VOD on Twitch or on YouTube. Always appreciated. Um, thanks a lot. And uh, we will be back on Saturday with Tailspire, continuing to build the Caves of Chaos. Um, so come on back for that. That will be a lot of fun. 
Um, if anyone is looking for a game of Dungeons and Dragons to play monthly, um, I run a game through Eventbrite, um, and uh, my, my handle over there is Dice and Brews, Dice and Brews, Dice, Dice ampersand Brews, um, and uh, ooh, speaking of energetic rhino, energetic rhino beetles, <laughs> what do you think of that beetle? Um, there are actually a bunch of those around here. Uh, it's a good place to farm for them down down in the in the woods down here. You can farm for energy. Anyway, um, if you're looking for a monthly D&D game, I run a game uh, selling tickets through Eventbrite uh, using D&D Beyond, Discord, and Roll20. Um, so if you are interested in playing a dun monthly dungeon crawl uh, with uh, me as the GM and some regulars, um, uh, uh, hit me up. Uh, ask me any anything you want uh, for information or or any any other further details you, you might need. Uh, either on Twitter or Instagram, I am Dice and Bruise uh, on both, uh, all one word, Dice and Bruise. Um, uh, and uh, if yeah, if you're interested, and we can get enough players, we can uh, we can we can start start it rolling. We used to do it fairly regularly, um, but with oh hello, but with uh, the pandemic and everything, it seemed to drop off just a little bit. So uh, hopefully, we can get it back up and running. But uh, but yeah yeah it's a lot of fun we're, we're very very friendly to new players so if you are new new to D and D and want to give it a shot um, it's it's you know we are we are very welcoming and we're happy to answer any questions uh, about the game that you may have um, so yeah again check it out um, if you or if maybe if you have a, a character knocking around in your D and D Beyond account and you want to try it out. Um, it's a great opportunity for that. We, we tend to make the encounters interesting or difficult. Uh, I'm try, I try not to make them too difficult if we're trying to, you know, get new players because then it's, it kind of, you can kind of get a little, uh, um, you know, <laughs> it's, it's a bad first time if you, if you're thrown up against something really, really nasty and you don't know what you're doing. Um, so... I mean, if, it, if they're a seasoned player, then yeah, fine. <laughs> so be sure to let me know if you are interested, if you are a new player or a seasoned player, um, because it will affect the encounters. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, yeah. again, hit me up either on Twitter or Instagram if you're interested. If you're looking for a non-D&D game to play with your friends or family over video chat, check out tourguidegames.com. They offer on-demand, professionally-led TTRPGs for you and your friends and family. All you need is a smartphone. You don't even need pen and paper or dice. Your tour guide is more than happy to, to take care of any note taking or dice rolling for you. And even then, the games themselves do not really require a whole lot of it. They are very rules light games that are easy to learn and a blast to play over the course of a couple hours. Games like All Out of Bubblegum, Time and Temp, Lasers and Feelings, Project Ninja Panda Taco, Guild of Orpheus, Honey Heist, Fiasco. Games like that. So if you are looking to reconnect with your family for game night over uh, a distance, if you've moved recently, or if you're quarantining and you want to uh, keep your family and your friends safe, um, and you but you still want to meet up for game night, it's a great option for that. Uh, if you are an employer who is looking for a team building exercise for either in-house or remote employees, uh, this is an excellent resource for that. And they've done it many times. Uh, with great success. So, um, if you are interested, please, again, check them out over at tourguidegames.com. Uh, and I should mention they do not sponsor this stream. Uh, uh, they're just nice people over there, and I like to try to throw them some business if I can. Um, so, again, uh, everyone, please, until uh, Saturday, please stay safe, wear a mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face while you're out and about, social distance whenever possible, the mask goes over your nose and mouth at the same time, uh, look and see in your area uh, if you are eligible for vaccines and boosters and do it because you have no excuse at this point and uh, just be excellent to each other and uh, we will hopefully see you Saturday bye bye hey what's up if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button and also hit the bell if you want to know when I post some new stuff uh, you can see some of my other stuff right over there on the screen <laughs>